um, face plate, pop it on. Okay. Then you take the gray pieces, which would be the bottom. Okay. Just kind of line those up. Um, pretty sure there's a little slot right there goes where the face plate is. Sorry about that. And then, of course, this one's pretty self-explanatory. You can't put a hard drive on unless it all lines up. And this, that, and the other. It's probably better to put the face plate on last because the gray pieces sometimes won't go on. So put the gray pieces on first and then put the face plate and kind of bind it all together. I just do things ass backwards. And then of course, slide the hard drive on. So I'll put it back together and we'll try it out in just a second. But I, um, I want to take a minute to uh, show everything. Supposedly this was the problem, small band-aids is what they call them. Somebody calls them, it was on a video. But it's this, it's got a little putty on the back. See, it's like little gooey stuff. Stuff that you would stick behind a poster. Okay. TX10. Little star bit thingy. Hmm. I squint my eyes trying to make you guys focus in on it. Electrical tape. Uh, and... Pennies. That's all I used. Um, one more quick thing for all the people that I guess are just completely brain dead. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. You take a piece, electrical tape stretches for people that don't know. Take a piece probably, you know, fingertip to second bend or whatever. But you take two pennies, just like that. And there is two. These are just kind of crappy pennies, I guess. But you take them, stick them together, and put it like this. Keep them held together because you want them as tight as possible. <laughs> uh, and then just squeeze all the corners so it kind of looks like that. It's okay if a little bit's showing right now because you're going to take another piece, same length, and go in the complete opposite direction and do the same thing. I'm going to wrap it this way and you want to make sure that the tape overlaps where you started and then just pinch the corners. I kind of did a very bad job on this one but pinch the corners so no part of the penny showing so it should look like that and that's what you put on the heat sinks to uh, be able to attempt to fix red ring so but that's what it looks like but this is what it looks like. It's probably backwards, I think. Yeah, it's backwards, but Radio Shack has heat sink compound. Like I said, it's like $6.99. So, but whatever works. So now the Xbox is put back together. I'm gonna try to piece this video together um, slowly, but I'm gonna cut real quick and we're gonna go see if it works. All right, guys, so here it is. Here's the judgment. See if it works. It's not even guaranteed to work, but I'm hoping. Um, some people say that after you do the penny trick, you have to stick it in the towel, wrap it up, let it reset itself. I don't know if that's true. I might try it. I might not. So, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's turn, turn the TV on. Let's get everything plugged up. Oh, hold on just a second, guys. It's going to go black for a minute, I know, but uh, it's not wanting to plug in for some odd-ass reason. Okay, so we finally got it plugged in. All the cords are set up and the TV's on, so... All right, guys, moment of truth. Maybe. Look at that.
Got everything set up, I'm pretty sure. So good so far. And we're up into Xbox Live. So let me turn the controller on. And I didn't switch it out. Um, right there is the weird ass stain and stuff. So. Everything works. So, um, hopefully this will work for you guys. Um, I do strongly suggest um, when I cut cut it before, um, when I couldn't plug it in, take it and wrap it up in a towel for 10 minutes is what I did. Um, just in case I kind of cut that out because this video is extremely long. But I, that is the only thing that I didn't include is I wrapped it up in just a regular towel for about 10 minutes um, and turned it off plugged it back in and it works so but um all right guys i hope you like the video um everything is working so far i'm gonna do some more tests but um i hope you like the video i really hope it helped if you have any questions or comments leave them and um just do whatever all right guys i appreciate it and uh thanks for sitting through an awful video so all right.